hello everyone so in this video i am going to demonstrate how we can set up and install elk stacks in our windows system so elk is elastic search l for log stack and k is for kibana these three tools actually are open source and we will see how we can download it and install it and i will also in this video show some demonstration how we can visualize it so Elasticsearch we can download it from elastic.co where we can download all three stacks which we need for to set up so here is the window version you can for example I am going to download log stash uh, and similarly the same way we can install Elastic Kibana as well so let's say I have downloaded all the files once I downloaded all the files I need to extract it you know it will stall as a zip file so I will extract it once I extract it it will create a bin config data file let's say we have a bin folder and in bin folder we have elastic dot patch file which is required to run our elastic search engine but before that we run to elastic search we need to some configuration or verify our some configuration for that we have a yml file uh, elasticsearch.yml file we need to review it and check it out that is the configuration is okay as per our need or not if not then we need to tweak it let's say network host is localhost if we are running on a local system local machine and port is 9200 by default it's already 9200 but we can say and if it's asking for security or HTTPS we need to enable make it enable false I mean to say it we need to disable it so these two or three lines we need to make sure that it should be available in our configuration file to run elastic search we need to actually go bin folder as I mentioned then we need to open our command prompt and we need to go if we are not setting path for example in my case I am not setting a environmental path so I have to go all through the where we have elasticsearch.bat file and I need to hit enter and then it will take maybe some time initially and after that it will be show result like this that we have some string or data is appearing in our command prompt so to verify this actually uh, which is very difficult to hear to a study like this what we have but to verify this what we need to open our browser write localhost 9200 which is our port so it will return a JSON value which means our elastic search is ready and configured properly and after that once elastic search is done next thing is kibana kibana is actually a visualization tool elastic is actually storing or connecting the data and kibana is our data visualization tool to work with the kibana we need to go yml file kibana under the config folder and we need to also check some our mandatory things if we are not already sets let's say server port 56001 which is actually default and server host and this is important thing elastic search dot host because in some cases maybe your host will be 9233 maybe 9200 so in this case you need to these two lines actually safe object is not mandatory but if you're facing an issue you can minimize or maximize the pool so once you set up the configuration file you need to go bin folder and open a new command prompt for that and go to your folder where you have a bin directory and where you have a kibana.patch file like i have a kibana file in bin folder then i need to hit enter and it will take a while so you don't need to worry about it after the kibana batch file executed you will see output like this and 
for this you need to verify it that so you need to open another instance of your browser and type localhost 5601 and hit enter if you see a interface like this which mean your kibana is also set up and you have different option so in this video we will see some demonstration but most importantly now the next task is our ETL task we need to read data and store it to Elasticsearch for that log stash is a tool which will do this type of thing so in log stash config file we may make develop our config files actually config file let me open a simple config file it has a inputs it has a output or maybe filters or like that so input mean where the source is we are reading from output where we are storing the data so let me create a I already create a one file for demonstration so here is my input the file name is iics.csv file which is I reading from a specific folder let me show the file csv yeah here is the csv file it's a three column and four rows or three rows you can say transition date id amount so i have just write down that my path is file is available i have three columns and it is a comma separated so filter actually filter is not only doing filter it will also delimit the thing and this is the my destination where i want to host the file or put the file and index name is iics so it is an important thing so output filter and input these are three actually this is a etl type activity to run this log stash we need to go again bin folder like elk then our log stash and we have a log stash file here okay dot batch file so what we need we need to write a log stash minus f and the path of the my log stash underscore iics config file yeah this is the path and here is my config file and folder and in config folder I have log ICS file so once I run this file it will display me a output string once I hit enter so let me hit enter so here is your output string type that we are good to go and our log stash is running fine there is one other command actually I will also show curl x cat localhost 9200 underscore cat indices question mark v so it will actually also return uh, index index which is our iics right here you go so which mean we are set up our elk stack on windows right so now the next term is that we need to visualize something here is our index where we have a transaction date id and amount column okay and if i go dashboard so i can create a dashboard dashboard can contain a multiple visualization but for the sake of simplicity i'm going to create a simple one so let's say i have a amount so here you go you can see the by default is creating a bar chart I can change into toner heat map and on the here this side on the right side you can see a different option like we can change into line chart and count of records sum of records so you can once you have get in the environment you will have a different option you can apply so it's a open source tool and i would say you do learn this thing because it's a market demanding tool and it will help your career 
आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो